Hello, I hope all is well. So throughout my whole time playing RuneScape, I have really enjoyed doing clue scrolls, just the mystery of what you might get, the possibility of really big loots. And a few years ago, I did a loot from video with a bunch of medium clues and actually did get a pair of ranger boots from that. And then later on, I got a third age melee full helm from a random hard clue from a slayer task. So I thought, why not spend almost my whole bank, right around 100 mil, I am not a super rich player, on magpie implings and see how many hard clue scrolls I can do and possibly get some masters, maybe some third age. So I spent 100 mil on about 5,100 magpie impling jars and I went to work. So just over 1,000 impling jars in, 22 caskets so far. I'm able to do about a clue every 12 minutes, about five per hour. I thought this was kind of funny. I've never seen this before. Uh, it's probably not supposed to do that, but oh well. All right, skipping ahead a little bit. I am about halfway done. There is 50 caskets so far. I've got about 2,600 impling jars left, so I'm on pace to do about a little over a hundred hard clues. My goal is at minimum of 100 hard clues and with 5150 impling jars I could expect 103. So skipping ahead a little bit because I don't really feel the need to just show doing a bunch of clue steps. That's pretty boring. This video is already going to be longer than I need it to be because I do want to show opening all the caskets because I think that'll be cool. And that is the last of it. I did not get one more uh, hard clue. I ended up getting a total of 112 caskets. That's actually pretty good. That's more than I would have expected. That comes down to one every 46 impling jars instead of 50. So that's pretty solid. A few extra ones could help me out here. More chances to get that third age or master clues. So here's all the loot from the impling jars that were not clue scrolls. So 77 mil on the GE. I'm going to go ahead and sell that and see what I actually get back. But wow, those Snapdragon seeds are really valuable. It looks like the Sinister, Sinister Keys, Runite Bars. That is some really good loot. And if it sells for what it should, um, I need to get about 23 mil off the hard and master clues to break even. So there it is. It sold for 76.5 mil. So in order to break even, I need 23.5 mil, about 230k per hard clue, which could easily be done if I get at least one really good loot. All right, first clue, here we go. And a, ooh, master scroll book, 140k, not terrible. Now obviously I'm going to be stopping every time I get a master clue and I'm going to try to do them. Uh, 120k, ooh, Guthix full helm. I remember back in the day I spent like my bank on full Guthix. It was like one mil back in 2006. Ooh, 38k, that is trash. All right, 100k, okay. Wow, these are, I'm not, not off to a really good start, but you know what, I have high hopes. Ooh, 44, 46k, that is un, underwhelming. All right. It was Amarok plate skirt. Oh, still only 69k. Okay, well, well, we'll keep going. We got 100 more of these. Okay, master clue. First master clue. Maybe some pretty good loot from that. My account is not great, but pretty decent. I can do pretty well with all the master clue steps except for a good portion of the Sherlock ones. Pickpocket and Elf, I would need 13 thieving levels or 8 with the best possible spicy stew boost. Uh, I might get some heat for this, but I'm going to go ahead and drop this and keep keep going. I know I could try to get the levels, but that would just take me a while, and I'd like to get this video done because I really want to see the rest of my 100 hard clue loots. A rune, rune Herald a Kite, That's those are so, I always hated those. Cyclops Head, I guess that's probably not worth anything. Ooh, rune gold plate buddy. That, that is another item that used to be fairly valuable. Full rune gold was an awesome thing to walk around in if you were a free player. So I remember back in the day, like doing clue scrolls in 2005, 2006, I used to get really excited as a kid when I got one from a Slayer task, but I could not figure out the slide puzzles. And I actually had, oh, there's another master clue already. Uh, but I actually had to go over to my grandparents house and had my grandpa do them for me I know that sounds really silly, but he could actually solve the slide puzzles. I eventually learned but 
Um, my grandpa has played RuneScape with me on and off for like 15 years, I think. Still active, still playing, but he plays RuneScape 3. So keep going with these clues. Rune Trimmed Kite. Uh, it's kind of cool, but again, I'm finding out a lot of these clue scroll items. I really should have checked the prices before I did this. I probably would have still done it anyway because I just wanted to try it. But, oh, I don't know what that is. Um, I still wanted to do it anyway, but a lot of these items have gone way down in price from what I remember them, just being away from the game for a little more than a year. Uh, a lot of these clue scroll items, ooh, 36k. Ugh. They just don't don't carry the same value that they did. Okay, so I'm 26 hard clues in. I've got two master clues. I've been able to solve one of them, and I've had to drop the other. So I'm one for two so far. 73k, another one of those master scroll books. Um, just getting a lot of really generic stuff here. Thieving bag, I'm not sure what that is. It doesn't look too valuable, though. All right, let's keep going here. Let's get me some third age. I really could use some third age because so far, oh, Zami page. See, oh, that's another thing. Those used to be like what, 500k to a mill. I've probably made oh, another Zami page. Why can't I get this on my 10 HP Iron Man? I really need this on that account. But I've probably made in my RuneScape career five to seven pures that needed the full Zami book, and I swear I paid like three to four mil every single time to complete it. Ancient page, uh, I guess that's worth a little bit. But yeah, so far it is not prom looking promising that I'm gonna get that 200K plus average to cover my break even. So I really need a third age piece. Oh, Ceratomen plate body. God, I remember when full Ceratomen was probably one to two mil, but uh, that's in the way distant past. So yeah, I really need a third age piece or something. Maybe, oh, there's another master clue. Maybe something from this master clue will uh, help me break even or at least make some sort of profit. All right, that's pretty good, 250K. It looks like the ancient pages are the ones to get now. Give me a couple more of those, maybe get back on the right path, making some money. Oh, there's another ancient page. All right, another 270K. Some runes and some rune junk. Okay, so I am halfway through, almost halfway through my hard clues. I did have to drop that master clue scroll, unfortunately it was another um, ooh, that's okay, that's 500k armadol chaps, but it was another 185 thieving requirement maybe I should have just done it but uh, that's okay, I maybe later on once I get this account a little bit higher up, have some time to build up some stats a little better maybe I'll try this again and uh, see if I do better or worse my loots, those blessings used to be worth a good amount too, but uh, that's only a 56k clue, oh my gosh, my bank's full all right, I'm going to have to take some time to clear that out a little bit. Ooh, purple sweets, rune junk, and another master clue. All right, let's hope I can get this one done. This should be the last step. Uh, I look like such a noob there. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I I had to wear a dragon skirt and a dragon chain for this. My, take away the serpentine helm, and it's like classic 2007 runescape. All right, master clue done. 178k. Ugh. Oh, another rune gold body. This teleports must be the value though. All right, kind of decent. Ooh, what's that? Oh gosh, I think most of the ornament kits are worth more than that one. Wow, three pages in one clue. All right, so that's not a bad. That's not a bad. I'm hoping maybe these master caskets have something nice in them for me to help me break even or make a nice profit. I spent a little over 20 hours doing all the hard clues and oh there's a nice 380k that's solid but to do those master clues I did have to grind a couple skills I had to get my fishing up a couple levels and fletching but I was close I only had to do two or three levels of each of those and I was able to do that kind of throughout the day on mobile so that was really helpful. Uh, to be able to get those and complete those masters. Uh, 60k, 120k, see these these just aren't cutting it. My, my, oh there's another master, all right. Let's get me something good, it's another Zamorak page. Uh, ooh, Amulet of Glory, even that, even that's not worth very much, the Trim Glory. That was worth a little more. 70k worth of runes, ooh, double Zami page. Man, I'm getting so many Zami pages on here, I just, just can't get them on the 10 HP Iron Man. It just seem to be a lot rarer on the easy clues that he's able to complete. 
So the drop rate for any piece of third age from a hard clue is one in 16,250 per roll. Each clue is four to six rolls. So with 112 clues, I'm looking at 560 rolls. So even there, my odds are not good. Just a couple percent chance. Oh, there's another master. But just a couple percent chance of getting an elite piece. So this one, I always love going up into Deep Wilderness with a master clue on my last step. Let me go ahead and get out of here. And 23 clues left, and I've completed at least three masters so far, so hopefully something there. Enchanted Road Bottom, not much, another 70k, Ugh, 38k. Another master clue, all right, maybe this will be it for me. 17 down, 17 to go, 32k. Yikes. All right. 127K. Gosh, these look just like the clue ro rewards of old. Ooh, okay, that's not bad. Ancient Dehyde Body. So, looks like 12 left. 12 more chances for a piece of Third Age. Blue Dragon Hide Mask. All right. Wow. Yikes. Oh, there, there it is! Third Age Mage Hat! Oh, that's awesome. I did not actually think I was going to get a piece of Third Age. I think that might be one of the cheapest pieces, but I don't care. It's the rarity of it. I got a piece of Third Age. That's awesome. I don't know that it's going to be enough to help me break even, but it's Third Age. It's rare. That's pretty awesome. All right, so I got a total of seven Master Clues. That is a 1 in 15 chance when opening a hard casket. And I was able to complete four out of the seven. So first one, wow, 98K. That is terrible for a master clue. 500K, uh, I guess that's better, that's okay, but still kind of underwhelming. 400K, uh, not ideal. Uh, last one, something good. Wow, okay, that is not good at all. 180K. So. Overall, I lost 7 mil from all the clues. I'm kind of a dummy, so I forgot to do a recording of selling all the loot, but I did lose 7 mil. I got an average of 129k per hard clue. Uh, this video did take a lot of effort, so if you enjoyed, please let me know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.